Hey, Beatles fans, get ready to rock out and take a trip down memory lane. It's at the world's largest Beatles festival that kicks off this weekend right in our backyard. We've got three guys from three of the bands that will be taking the stage. Andy Forgy is from All You Need Is Love. Jeff Perholtz is from The New Bees and James Paul Lynch from Brit Beat. So you all, all three different kinds of uh, backgrounds here. First of all, I've got to call out the costume here. I mean, I love the I love the glasses. First of all, oh thank yeah. Is it kind of dark, or is it because of all these lights? It's all the lights. I can't really see without them, you know. So I, <laughs> I figured it might as well. Right, right. I understand. <laughs> Do you walk around the, like this all the time? All the time. See, I like the attention. You know, I, <laughs> I fancy the beetle boots, really. You know? did, did you walk in here like this? Absolutely. Like from the street? Yeah, from the street. Did you get some looks? Yeah, we did actually. Yeah, Are coming you... out. <laughs> Anybody say anything to you? Well, I get a lot of, hey, is that John? You know, where's Yoko? Leave her at home, you know, all that <laughs> sort of stuff. But, nice. Yeah. Is this, um, now collectively, you have played at the Gaylord before last year, right? Have have you guys too? We all did yes. last yeah. year. Yeah. It was a runaway hit last year. Yeah. You know, the first time they've done it, and it was fantastic. You guys got some good crowds. I went out there, and you have a following. How does that feel to get up there and you see all these people that, you know, years later still embrace this great music? Well, that's the magic of the event, you know. I mean, it's just one of those family-friendly things that everyone gets into it. You bring your granddad, you bring your kids, you know, and everyone can twist and shout, and there you go. Everyone can <laughs> sing to the Beatles. I mean, it really now, is. Now, Andy, tell me about your performance at the Gaylord. Okay, well, uh, the performance that I'm involved in, the one that we would really like to talk about is the Love production. And uh, my band, All You Need Is Love from Canada, Canada is going to be getting together with James's band, Brit Beat, and of course with Jeff's band, The Newbies. And we're going to be performing with a full string ensemble and horn ensemble, and we're going to be performing the amazing masterpiece that George Martin assembled called Love. Nice, nice. Now you guys, you know, on the road, you're performing together, you practice together, or when do you actually meet up to get ready for your performances? This is where Facebook comes into play, so that, <laughs> a, a lot of communication. Uh, you know, if Love is uh, it w was uh, designed to be the backing track for Cirque du Soleil, so if you haven't seen the Cirque du Soleil performance of Love, you've got to go see it. It's a beautiful soundtrack, and uh, it, it encompasses so many fantastic Beatles tunes and we have to connect all those dots because it's it's in a sense a musical and we have to get them all all timed correctly and everybody's got to be uh, designed part so we've been working on it for about six months uh, uh, oh, wow. prior to to our first performance of it and it's been great it's been great and uh, we've put a lot of work into it and uh, I Hope. think that would yeah. be tough. For all of you live in different areas, right? This, you're a hometown boy. Yep, yep. Uh, your mom's still in Woodbridge. You're from Silver Spring. Exactly. Grew up in Silver Spring. And you said Chicago? Well, Liverpool on Saturday. Oh, right, <laughs> right, right. So you just visit Chicago. Excuse me. Excuse me for busting up the character. <laughs> and Canada. So, I Canada, mean, yes. thank goodness for social technology to right. keep in touch. Right. It, it really helped out. It helped out in assigning the parts. The hardest part for us, I think, there's a lot of sound effects involved. And as Andy said, the strings and the horns. Mm -hmm. And getting that many people on stage and executing such a, a big event's been a daunting task, but it's so fun. It is. You know what impressed me the most with, well, A, you had such a great, lots of crowds out there, mm -hmm. but it wasn't just people that happened to listen to the Beatles when they were at the height of their career. Yeah. You have their kids, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's a whole family event, passing on the music, it, it really it seems. It really is, yeah. It really is. It, it, it spans generations. It spans cultures, everything. I mean, we've got over 50 bands from all over the world mm -hmm. coming to do this. And it's, I mean, you see all these different interpretations, including the Love Show. It's really magical. Mm -hmm. Great. So we want to let everybody know, again, it's, it's uh, through September 5th, all this weekend, mm -hmm. over at the Gaylord National Harbor. Great venue. There's so, I mean, it's really grown since last year. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember. Lots of new stores, lots of new venues. Mm -hmm. It's now through September 5th, Abbey Road on the River. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having, having us. Weekend. Thank you. Get your ticket to ride. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're going to step away for a sponsor segment right now. But when we come back, find out what one former country crooner, well, she's still a country crooner, I think, in my book, what she said about Juliana Rancic. Uh, they're kind of in a talkback mode. <laughs> Tweet us in the meantime. We're Let's Talk Live DC.